Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's see if we can find out where Spiegel's Tower is. Also, since last time, I changed Amos' job class to a martial artist back at All Trades Abbey, since he mastered Priest, and he wants to master martial artist to unlock the Paladin job class. Speak for yourself, Carver. But then again, I would imagine Carver doesn't really have much of a brain. Doesn't need him, he's got the muscle. How powerful could his magic possibly be? Well, let's find out. Gotta take a look around. And fight some new enemies. Alright, Dreamera. Uh, they can use a cool breath or ice breath attack. Deals about 15 damage to your entire party, but the Dragon Shield can completely block, block it out. Uh, they can also cast Mid-Heal, but really, they're pretty easy. Frizzle might even be able to one-shot them sometimes if you get a good enough hit off of it. But, alright, got him. Yeah, Gasmagons, they're a much bigger threat in that fight. So, oh, Leg Sweep. Well, we just started him on uh, Martial Artist there. But anyway, we want to go up here to this well. You don't have to, but it's a good idea to get Mini Metal 41. All right. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, whatever happened around here? Maybe this well used to be inside it, or like part of the foundation or something. Hmm. I wonder if he's Spiegel in the real world. Because apparently he's dreaming him up, I guess, or something. I don't know. Nothing ever really comes of this old guy, at least as far as I know, but... Yeah, uh, well, it's in the dream world. That's why you can't find it here. So, let's head on over there, then. Switch! But before heading to his tower there, we got a whole bunch of mini medals, so let's head on back to Medford's Manor and finally get the mighty Miracle Sword. That will solve a lot of problems that I've been having. Well, maybe not a lot, but it is really, really good. How powerful could it possibly be? Well, it does have a lot of attack power, too. It's one of the strongest swords in the game. And one of the nice things about the Miracle Sword is that Nivan can equip it. That's one of the reasons why I made him into an armamentalist, because the Miracle Sword not only gives him a ton of attack power there, but it also heals the user when, when you attack with it. And it also stacks with some physical abilities, like Falcon Slash, Double-Edged Slash, things like that. And I almost forgot, I gotta rest up at the end here before moving on. So yeah, Miracle Sword is really, really good for Navan there. I would still hold on to his uh, Morningstar for now, because I want to switch weapons around later. But for right now, we're doing okay. So, in order to get... Well, as close to where Swanstone is as possible, I want to go to Clearvale here. And I also want to show something off here. In the area, that is. Okay, just get that little part of the map. And, well, you see the big gray area in the middle of the map there? That's where the tower is. But I want to go over here first. Let's see if I can get close enough to show it off. Uh, it's in the upper right there. Can't quite get to it. But if you look at the mini-map, or the big map there, yeah, there's a big hole in the ground there. So, but we can't get to there yet. Even the flying bed can't reach it. We need to get there ashore somehow. Like with the ship, or the island, or whatever. But anyway, well, let's see. Well, we got a little bit of a desert there. Let's take a look around. And fill out a little more of the mini-map to reduce lag. That'll be nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm a speedrunner talking about lag. No, no, H.C. Bailey is not a speedrunner. But anyway, okay, there's the tower. We could have actually come here earlier and, well, remember what the Chancellor said? Use peep and you can get through the door. Hooray! But yeah, you, you could have come here earlier, but... It, you know, I don't know what would have happened if I came here earlier. I mean, I would imagine you wouldn't fight Spiegel yet. 
He might say, hey, get out of here, or something like that. I don't know. Hmm, maybe I should check that out one of these days. Well, not today. Alright, well anyway, in order to get through the tower here, you saw those four staircases? Well, they lead into the middle of this floor. Most of them don't go anywhere. But the lower left one does, and we gotta go all the way around the edge of the tower there very carefully. Because if you fall off, you get to start all over. And, okay, we got some metal slimes here, and I equipped some holy waters for this occasion. Because, well, they can deal guaranteed damage to them. I also gave the poison needle to Ashlyn, so that way she could equip it to either deal one damage or possibly insta-kill these guys. So, do the best we can. Alright! Well, the reason why I wanted to kill one was because even though I encountered them earlier in the game, I didn't actually kill one at the time. And... Well, now I wanted to, so that way I could uh, fill out a little more of my bestiary there. But, alright! Lots of experience points. By the way, one of the nice things about this area... Oh, we got whack for Navan from leveling up. But yeah, one of the nice things about the Spiegel Spire here is that it has no level cap for job grinding. So, you can just job grind here to your heart's content. But I'm not going to do that. There's another area a little later that I like a little better for job maxing there. Man, we got a lot of levels from just that one fight. But yeah, let's get back on the whip there and continue onward. Game? I was almost outside again. But anyway, we want to go around those stairs. And go around to this one. Let's see what we got here. Mini Metal 42. All right. Doing pretty good. Not too much that's useful from the Mini Metals for the remainder of the game, unfortunately. Probably should have saved the Miracle Sword for later on down the line when they distributed them. Okay, just making sure I got the whip on Ashlyn. Wasn't quite sure if I re-equipped it after a battle there, but... Okay, so we got new enemy, Federal Guanas. Guess what spell they can cast on you? If you say snooze or something other than fuddle, I'm going to hit you. But yeah, they can cast fuddle on your party. Uh, actually, just one one of your characters, oddly enough, even though it's a multi-targeting spell for you. And they can also uh, confuse you, or fuddle you, with their physical attacks. Oddly enough, they are themselves susceptible to fuddle. I don't know how that works, but okay. But yeah, let's see. Any other than that, though, nothing too special about these guys besides that. Uh, let's see. You could cast Snooze on them if you don't have Fuddle Dance or the Fuddle Spell. And they're pretty susceptible to just about any attack magic or physical attack abilities you got. Man, we're gaining levels like mad. Not just from the Metal Slime fight that we had there, too. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, I like how you can change the camera angle climbing up here like this. I thought I remember an NES game or something where they had something like that going around a spiral staircase going up. It was like one of the late NES games. It's pretty impressive for well, the NES as far as like how they did the graphics and everything. I think it was like one of the bigger games that was made for it, like five or six megabits or something. But, all right, why do you put a house on top of the tower? How does that even work? It's like a penthouse or something? But anyway, I want to give the Miracle Sword to Carver, because he's going to be my main offense. Uh, Navan will be doing magical stuff. I want to give the Fire Claw to Rex, so that way he can use Frizzle without having to learn the spell. And I want to equip the Magic Shields, because, well, guess what? Spiegel's going to be using against us. Well, okay, yeah, he is going to be using a physical attack. But he also has some really powerful magic. So, yeah, we want to equip those. And uh, restore some of Nivan's MP there, because he's going to be using quite a bit of it. Even though I have him as a warrior, but oh well. So, let's check out your humble abode. You don't even have a bed here. 
well, I guess you're in the dream world, but... I mean, what do you do here? While you're waiting for... the girl or something. I never heard that name before. I guess she's the mirror princess, huh? Well, what if we kill you? Maybe you should find someone else. I mean, what's so special about her? I'm going to be meddling with you some more for boss time against Spiegel. Okay, so uh, Carver wants to go focus strength and knuckle sandwich all the time. Now, what Spiegel does is that every other round, he will cast a bound on himself. So I want Naban to cast Poof to dispel it. Unfortunately, he got lucky and went first in the round, and yeah, my frizzle spell bounced off of it. Poof was supposed to dispel that, and Rex and Ashlyn were supposed to be faster than him, but yeah, got unlucky there, so oh well. But anyway, so now in the other round, he has he'll do something random based on his... Uh, well, his AI script there. He can, well, as you see, summon low jinx. I want to cast Poof again this time. And let's see. Keep going with the Fire Claw there, which can go through Bound, by the way. And I want to try and put the low jinx that he just summoned there to sleep. They do have quite a bit of resistance to it, but I should be able to get through it eventually. Another reason why I have Navan casting Poof instead of, like, Ashlyn, is because, well, Navan is a warrior, so his speed is really, really low. So he'll almost, well, he will always go after Spiegel casts Bound every other round. And by the way, you always want to dispel it, and... Oh, boy. Ow! Ow! Well, we're dealing good damage, but we're taking a lot of it, too. Hmm, do I dispel that now, or... Maybe I need to heal. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got here. Let's see. Yeah, we should be fine, I think. And one other thing, though, uh, I was saying, the reason why you want to dispel uh, Bound every time he sets it up is because if you don't do that, then he'll start doing, like, attacks on you instead of casting Bound. Like, the game will say, hey, do you have Bound a bound Shield up? Oh, you do? Okay, well, then I'm gonna do something else that will actually kill you! But anyway, let's see. What does he got here? Oh, man, I'm getting really unlucky here with... Well, Snooze isn't working. They're casting all their multi most powerful spells randomly. Holy cow! getting a little dicier than it usually does for me. Oh, well. Okay, so let's see. Spiegel, he can also use a physical attack, which is actually pretty strong, too. But I wouldn't bother with uh, like, Kaba or anything like that. I don't think... It's not that big of a problem. Uh, he can also... Well, as you saw, he's casting Sizzle on your party. Uh, he can also cast a single-targeting Frizzle spell on you. And I'm still trying to get that guy to sleep, but I've been spending so much time healing there. So, well, we'll just keep on going with that. Yeah, look at that damage. I think Snooze has like a 50% success rate against those low jinx. But, I'm, yeah, again, I'm getting really unlucky. Well, I'll leave it anyway. Because I know how much you guys love to watch me suffer. Suffer well. Well, good thing I got full heal there for Ashlyn there. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot in the way of uh, reducing wind elemental damage there. Yeah, all we got are those platinum nails. Man, I've been holding on to those for a long time. They are really good, too. I mean, there is a lot of stronger armor, actually, but, and Platinum Mail just gets the job done early on. Okay, well, at least I got them both to sleep now. 
Uh, the reason why I put them to sleep instead of just killing them is because he could just summon more of them. So, and now we've almost got them anyway. So I'm not really worried about that. Let's see. Let's just go with... Hmm. Yeah, that ought to be good. Enough. All right. Well, so much for poof. I don't think it worked on these guys, but oh well. Yeah, the reason why I like to use Poof, for those who haven't uh, watched previous episodes, Poof only costs 1 MP, and it bouncing off of the Bound spell doesn't matter, because we'll never get removed from battle by it. So it's the most efficient way of dealing with Bound there. Oh, another thing to keep in mind with Spiegel, he uses uh, concentrated targeting on whenever he's using single targeted stuff, like his attack or frizzle. So that may be something to keep in mind. You could, like he attacked Rex there earlier. He, you could cast buff on Rex, so that way his physical attack, or Spiegel's physical attack, wouldn't hurt you that much. But, eh, I didn't think that was necessary. Yeah, you see, even with getting really unlucky there, I mean, I still made it through easily. I don't want to be touched by your love. But, all right. And of course, like all good JRPG bosses, they explode once we kill them. Hooray! But can Ra's mirror free the mirror princess now? What will she do if it works? Will we even get a reward for freeing her? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.